Mr. Speaker, why should we have such a massive defense bill? Why, in this time of high budget deficits and cutbacks in domestic programs, are we talking about big increases in defense? The quick answer to that question is that we find ourselves in a posture of having to play catch-up ball. We simply have not done the things we should have done concerning readiness and concerning procurement and R&D over the long haul that would allow us to keep up with the progress that the Soviet Union has been making over the years. I should point out to the members that when we come to the House with a defense bill or with a budget from the President, this thing is laid out in the open for everybody to see. The papers, the TV, and the radio all over the country have been playing up the fact that we have this big defense budget, and in what many ways in the next week they will play up the fact of what is in that defense budget down to almost the smallest detail. So our people are caught up in this whole thing and you are either for defense or you are against it, or you are concerned about where we are going. Also, we forget the fact that in the Soviet Union we do not see their defense budget. We do not know, in fact, how many rubles they are spending for defense. The average person on the street is not treated to what the Soviets have been doing over the last 10 or 15 years as they started to rebuild their war machinery. So, in effect, we are dealing in a vacuum with numbers on our side that are all out there for the people to see. And in many ways they are staggering and horrifying when we think about the size of those numbers. On the other hand, we are dealing with Soviet numbers that are invisible and with weapon systems that, as far as the American people are concerned, are invisible. We will be coming to the number members somewhat later this year with a defense budget based on this budget and I wish that the numbers and those that you will read or hear about as to what I have to say will ponder on this effort to try to compare what we are doing in the open. Slightly fast, actually. It was... Uh, 32, 32, 350, let's see. In two minutes. It was uh, one. One seventy five. Congressional record.